question of the day. How can we describe in a few numbers customer shoe sizes in a shoe selling shop? First hints, mean, standard deviation, and variance. You're the marketing manager of an online shoe selling platform. You have access to data relative to a sample of customers described by several variables. You want to summarize shoe size data in a few numbers. First thing that comes to mind is the mean. Here's the formula. The mean is often used to describe the central tendency of a series of measurements. Can we describe a series of quantitative data points using something other than the central tendency? The way data is distributed around the mean can also be very informative. Here, we talk about data dispersion. Data that are too dispersed show that customers have very different shoe sizes. Narrowly dispersed data reflect shoe sizes that are all close to the mean. This information is very important as it helps in deciding what shoe sizes to have in the majority in the warehouse. Dispersion can be measured using standard deviation. Here's the formula. Another way to measure dispersion is to use the variance, which is no less than the square root of the standard deviation. Mean variance and standard deviation usually characterize data that follow a normal distribution. More info on this in the video on histograms. Here's how to compute these numbers automatically in Excel stat. Open describing data and click on descriptive statistics. In the quantitative data field, select shoe size. In the outputs tab, select the numbers you want to see. Mean, variance, and standard deviation, and click on OK. Here are the results. Even better, let's compute these numbers according to customer origin. Return to descriptive statistics. Select the origin column in the subsamples field and click on OK. We can now compare shoe size mean and standard deviation across origins. You certainly know other ways to express central tendency and dispersion for quantitative variables. Median, quartiles, box plots. Does it ring a bell? See you soon.